YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, Stefan, or actually, Steph TV, man. Back with another video. Man, um, I just finished my workout. Had a good workout. It was like a lightweight, light workout. You know, I just, I was just like doing good. Um, I ate some good food. I still got food in the back because I got to go clock in later at my job. And, you know, I'm, I'm today's just feeling good. Like, I had a good day in L.A. I have, I'm having so far another good day. Hopefully, when I'm at work, I have a good day. Usually, at my job, I do. But I'm still focused on the bag. I'm still focused on the grind. And, you know, that's mainly important. I don't really focus on the nonsense. Like, I, I really don't. Like, I just don't. Because I, I actually, I remember, man, I, I just, I still don't get it to this day. And I don't want to, like, figure out what was the issue between me and this person. But I'm just going to give you an example. Because I know there's, like, certain people going through that. Like, some dude just don't like you for whatever reason, right? You know, um, and this is all going to make sense. It was this dude, you know, at my job and he, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to say his name because he, he, he a bozo anyway. And I remember, man, he just out of nowhere, you know, just, just had that, just, just had that, the hate towards me. Right. Like for whatever reason, I don't know what the issues were. Like he just. He just did. Now, mind you, this dude, grown man, right? Grown, grown man uh, with kids, wife, um, paying mortgage. And we both worked at the same job. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just a young, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a young dude. You know what I'm saying? Just just going to college. At, at that time, I was just college and work, college and work, going to parties on the weekend, buying clothes, right? You know, just... Just um, just just blind walking around with blinders, man. You know, what I'm saying not really open my eyes to like what's really going on. And I didn't, I, I didn't understand. I was young, like my father didn't tell me nothing. And I remember, man, he just would always just disrespect me. Mind you, too, we the same skin tone, bruh. Like we same skin tone. We were like, he was an American dude. I don't know what the hell he was, but. You know, we were the only ones that could like really speak English. Cause uh, like at that job in particular, it was just like a lot of Spanish, Jamaicans, Asians, like mainly Spanish and all that. And you know, we were the only ones that could really speak proper English. And on top of that, too, that's not even the point. It was like I wasn't even paying attention to you. I was just looking at you as this older dude. You know what I'm saying? You have what every man wants and desires, right? You know, wife, kids, um, you know, just the whole nine, right? You, you want to you want a house so you can come home to every day, you know what I'm saying? Raise your kids. But for some weird reason, he was tripping over me because of just whatever is in his head. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause my, and I say it too, I was just a young boy. I was just young. I was, I was just young, like just going to college at the time. I didn't understand what purpose was, right? I, I didn't understand, you know, why am I, you know, um, pockets empty? Like, why am I? Why is my bank account going negative? Why, why is my Why is my dad like, you know, acting stupid? You know what I'm saying? Just being dumb. You know, messing up the money, messing up both our credit and all that stuff, and. I didn't understand, but he was just always trying to stress me out at work, try, always trying to disrespect me. And I was just like, what is your problem, bro? It makes no sense. And all I did was just ignore it because it was just like, man, you no wonder why. And then like, I it was just like, no wonder why you were clocked in. You always come here for, what was he was in there? I think he pushing like 25 years now. No wonder why you were clocked in, you know what I'm saying? And you just filled with hatred. 
You don't like how this is. You don't like, and he always complained about me, how his job was, and whatever's at home. And it's just like, dang, bro, like you don't take a step back and appreciate what you do or whatever is your problem. You don't take a step back from that. And it made no sense. But all I did was just literally, I, I honestly, I was, I was a punk back then because, well, yeah, I, honestly, I didn't, I didn't have like the reason to fight back because it was like, it made no sense. You know, all I did was just walk away from him. The only mistake I really made was like sticking around instead of like, you know, let me transfer to a different department and just let him be miserable until a couple years later I did because of me being on my purpose. And that that was like honestly the most smartest move to make. And I advise every man to do that if someone bothering you or, or or honestly, I would do what AMS say, like go check them before he even keeps continue doing it. But I didn't I didn't understand it because I was a young boy. Like I, I thought like that high school crap was over with. But, you know, I just see certain jobs. They they like that. You know what I'm saying? Even like L.A. It is like and I'm not trying to bad mouth it, but it's kind of high school ish in a sense, like. People just be just on that goofy stuff. That's why, like, I don't really hang in that front area department. It's cool. Like, I'm very appreciative and everyone, you know, respects. But it's let's just go back to, you know, where it was. Like, I honestly, I did the smartest thing, but I kind of wish that I had more of a backbone back then. So I could be like, hey, you're not going to disrespect me like that. But. I just kind of was, was like, well, you a short dude, you a hater, you miserable, always talking bad about somebody, you clocking it sad, probably wife don't even respect you and all that. And the smartest thing I did was just like walk away, right? Because it was, I was always looking at it like protect the check at that time was always protect the check and i still do that even now because it's like if you get into a scuffle with somebody and or you start swinging at old boy you know and he he was like the most favored person for some weird reason the supervisors liked him even though he was always milking stuff always being a bs bs artist and all this other stuff but if I would have did that or got my emotions and like, you know, yeah, you know certain young young boys are nowadays, they get emotional, they grabbing a gun and they shooting. These young boys are shooting, they're not tolerating that. I mean, I kind of wish I had that aggression about myself, but at that time I wish I did, but I don't know. It was just like, why should I even bother with it? Like you you a goofball. But what I did was just walk away because it's like I know where I'm going in life. You stuck. You stuck there still. I'm pretty sure he's still stuck there. I don't know. I don't want to know where he at. I don't ever want to speak to him ever again. But I, what I'm really trying to tell people, well, this first part is always just let people be who let them be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Walk away because once you walk away from them or I say like this, check them. You know what I'm saying? They, they still going to be hey who they are miserable as hell not not figure out their purpose not you know not doing nothing you know what i'm saying uh honestly i'm gonna say it like this being a beta male provider because you know wife don't want you no more and you stuck and you cannot leave because if you leave you gonna you gonna end up paying an alimony depends on how long you've been in a relationship i'm pretty i mean how long you've been married to this woman or whatever that's why I always tell guys, man, you know, you, you got to be smart in what you in the choices you make in life. Right. And me, I was just like, like, I, I, I ain't even going to do that with you. And it was like I said, it was one of the smartest moves I made. But, you know, I kind of wish I did certain things differently, you know, that had a backbone back then, even even now, like I'm still learning as a grown as a as a youngin. Right. I'm still learning. And 
that's what I really wanted to put out. And now let me let me um say this now. This is all gonna make sense because um even every time I work out, right? Even even time every time I work out and you know I do my job, this is one lady just like I don't know what is her problem, but she always just gives me these mean looks for whatever and she an older woman too like i already know like she probably in her like 30s and 40s or whatever she probably is right but always giving me these mean looks for whatever reason and I was like, I'm not going to check her about it because like I say before, there's guys out there who will put you in your place, who will check you, who will, who will slap you back. And you know, there's repercussions with that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's repercussions of walking away when you don't do anything about it. Right. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to trying to figure i'm not gonna check you or trying to figure out what's your problem with you i'm just gonna leave you alone let you be miserable um doing your little weak workouts you ain't got no booty anyway <laughs> and like it was just smart enough for me to do that because you gotta let people be who they are like you know what i'm saying let them let them be like like um with women when women disrespect you and they want to um, play games and smash a dude behind your back or, or you know just lie to you you just got to tell yourself you know what let her be your downfall let her just let her be your downfall like let let her destroy herself man because it's like you don't you want to be that type of person because the way you were raised and the way you carry yourself hey that's on you that's on you. And, and there's nothing. And then as I keep seeing that person, I just, I don't even look at her. I don't even look at, I don't even acknowledge her because it ain't nothing but just, just nonsense. Hatred come out of her brain cells. And, and, you know, you have to let certain people be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you get caught up in that world, you get, you're going to get caught up in their world and then you're gonna be thrown off your purpose or whatever it is and that's why i really wanted to put this video out because it's like one move could, could really mess your whole life and that woman in particular that that one girl could mess your whole life up and you gotta be smart bros gotta be smart always understand that where haters let them be Women who got like this attitude and all that, let them be. Because and they ain't going to learn from it. Oh, well, let them, let them continue to just be who they are. That's it, fellas, man. That's the end of this video. I was just, it was just on my mind and I was laughing. I was like, man, yo, what is that girl's problem? But I'm not going to figure it out and I'm not going to care about it. All right, bros. Let me upload this, hit the like, comment, subscribe. If you have any videos or like ideas or anything, or you just want to comment on this or any video, let me know. Say something smart. Don't say something stupid. I'm out.